What do a basketball player's torso, heaps of jewelry, and a cloudy sky have to do with copyright law? In Mannion v. Coors Brewing Company, those elements set the scene for a discussion of copyright protection for photographs. In 1999, Jonathan Mannion photographed basketball star Kevin Garnett for Slam magazine. For the photo shoot, Mannion asked Garnett to wear simple clothing and as much jewelry as he could. Mannion also asked Garnett to look relaxed. One of Mannion's photos depicted Garnett against a cloudy blue sky. Garnett wore a white t-shirt and several pieces of jewelry. The photo was shot up and across Garnett's right side and lighted from the left. Garnett's head was tilted and his eyes were closed. In 2001, Carol H. Williams Advertising proposed a billboard design to Coors Brewing Company that featured an altered version of Mannion's photo with a superimposed Coors light can and the words iced out, a play on Garnett's jewelry. Mannion gave Williams permission to use his photo for the proposal. Mannion also submitted a bid to shoot the actual billboard photo, but his bid was rejected. Instead, Coors and Williams used a black-and-white photo of a black model posed similarly to Garnett, photographed against a cloudy sky and wearing a white t-shirt and jewelry. The model's jewelry was different from Garnett's, and his face wasn't visible. The photo was shot up and across the model's left side and lighted from the right. After Mannion saw the billboard, he sued Coors and Williams for copyright infringement in federal district court in New York. Both parties moved for summary judgment.